In this video I'd like to talk about the process of diffusion and uh, we now start off uh, with a definition and I split up the def definition, definition into several uh, lines now to make it easier I'm going to explain it step by step. So first of all diffusion is the passive movement of particles. The question is now what does passive mean? Passive means that there is no energy no extra energy required. So there is no need to have an energy uh, input to move these particles. Now what are particles? Particles, this could be for example the particles of air, um, O2, oxygen, um, it could be the carbon dioxide, all the gases, it could be water, H2O of course, etc. So when we talk about uh, any other molecules, perfume for example, which uh, I'm going to use as an example later on. Um, so this is basically what I mean with particles uh, and they move um, without having an extra energy requirement. How do they move? They move from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. And uh, so this means if you have somewhere um, a room, I'm just going to draw the room from the, from the top over here. That's uh, supposed to be the floor seen from the top. And over here you put a drop of perfume into the corner. And uh, you are standing over here on the other side of the room. And there is no wind, there is no fan, no ventilator or anything, so the air is very calm. And you put a drop of perfume over here. What's going to happen is that after a few minutes you're going to smell the perfume on the other uh, side of the room, even though there is no wind um, carrying the perfume molecules. Because these perfume mo molecules, they have a high concentration over here, of course, a, a very low concentration over here. So how do they move? These uh, perfume particles, they move from an area of high concentration uh, to an area of low concentration. And what's going to happen is, is as the further you go away from the source, of course, the less uh, concentrated it becomes. So there are a little more here. Yeah. And this happens um, passively, automatically. No fan required, no wind required. Um, it does this um, on its own. Um, due to the random movement of these particles. Why do they do that? Because uh, they shake, they shake, they vibrate. Why do they vibrate? Because this is what you call temperature. They vibrate because uh, they have temperature. Even if it's very cold, even if you're freezing over here, um, they still have uh, um, a temperature because we're above absolute zero, above minus 273 degrees. A centigrade, um, everything which ha is w uh, warmer than that, has more energy than that, is, is shaking um, and it's vibrating and this causes the mixing um, of uh, the perfume particles with the air particles um, surrounding. Um, and at the same time what we have is we have of course over here uh, far away from the perfume we have a high air concentration if you want to talk about it like this high oxygen carbon dioxide water whatever uh, nitrogen uh, of course is a large component in air concentration and of course this air moves into the region of the perfume so uh, over time there is this gradual mixing process uh, which happens. So that is uh, the definition, so all three parts are important. It's a passive movement of particles from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration due to the random movement of these particles. And uh, from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration can also be summarized or written as down a concentration gradient. Down a concentration gradient. Okay, so um, it moves down a concentration gradient when it moves from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Now there are different uh, types um, of diffusion. Um, this so-called simple diffusion and facilitated diffusion. And over here, um, we need to include membranes as well. Um, over here, we don't have a membrane, so diffusion happens uh, without a membrane. But over here, um, I'd like to add a level of complexity. Um, I would like to um, add a membrane and let's talk about simple diffusion first. And in order to understand this video, it probably makes sense to understand a little bit how membranes are made. And uh, membranes are a phospholipid bilayer, all explained in a different video. So these are my phospholipid heads and the fatty acid tails. And I'm not going to draw all of them, of course. 
and I'm, but I do need I do need a few for you to understand this. Yeah, and you just imagine that we have these uh, things all across. So, and in the case of simple diffusion, we have the following situation. We have a particle over here, not one. We have a high concentration over here. High concentration. Um, and a low concentration down here. And these particles, in the case of simple diffusion, now will squeeze between the phospholipids to the other side of the membrane. From an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Um, until, of course, you have an equal concentration on both sides. And that's called simple diffusion. Um, so it squeezes directly between the phospholipids. There are no um, membrane channel proteins involved or anything like that. And this is only possible if these substances over here are not too hydrophilic. So it's not going to work with ions because they do not want to go through the hydrophobic middle part of the membrane. So this only works with uh, certain uh, certain substances. In the case of facilitated diffusion, we also have a membrane. I'm not going to draw the phospholipid bilayer right now. Um, yeah, you just imagine this. And in here we have a channel protein. Just going to color color this in a little bit over here. And there is a hole in the middle of the protein. And you might want to remove these small lines over here, so there should be a, a hole in here. And over here, again, we have a high concentration. Okay, this low concentration belongs to the top drawing. Okay, so I'm just going to draw this like this. Otherwise, you're going to be confused. So we again have a high concentration over here um, of particles and a low concentration down here and uh, these particles want to move from the area of high concentration to the area of low concentration but let's now say that this is sodium Na plus is highly charged um, very hydrophilic it does not want to do simple effusion because it does not want to go between the phospholipids I'm going to draw this over here I'm going to draw an X it does not want to go through here so but you probably have already guessed that over here uh, we have a sodium channel protein and now the sodium is able to go directly through the sodium channel protein from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration and uh, we call this type of diffusion facilitated um, because the protein that the, the channel protein makes it easier for the substances to diffuse uh, facile um, is the a um, French term for, for easy. It makes it easier to for uh, for substances to diffuse through. So, and that was basically it. Um, so what is diffusion? You need a concentration gradient in both cases. You do not necessarily need a membrane, but membranes are possible to have, but you do not absolutely need one. And um, you need uh, yeah, a concentration gradient and you need a substance which is able to diffuse and then it's going to happen because... Uh, the random movement is going to be there anyway because uh, the substances have a temperature. Um, yeah, and that's basically the thing which uh, causes the mixing or the movement of the substances until you have an equal concentration on both sides of the membrane or in this example up here, until you have an equal concentration of perfume or whatever substance you have over here inside the room. And that was it.